Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm here today to show you how to extricate your, well, normal three and a half inch hard drive from an external shell. Uh, this is actually a Seagate free agent desk. I have no idea what kind of drives in here. Basically, Andy, one of the fabled top men, uh, said it stopped working when he plugged it in, the little lights didn't turn on anymore. So at that point, I figured it's either a power supply problem or the USB to SATA controller inside this box. The bad news, these things are not designed to be user serviceable. So I'm gonna have to break out the spudgers and all the normal tools and stuff and rip it apart with my bare hands. Let's get started. I've never taken one of these apart before. My normal trick of looking for the feet with the screws underneath doesn't apply because there are no feet on this thing. It looks like, if I had to guess, um, that the circuit board, because of the way the USB port is put on here, probably is the bottom down here. So let's see how this goes. Now the good thing about this one um, is that I don't care if the drive cage gets messed up because it's not, it doesn't work. So um, all the normal rules about gouging and forcing and using metal spudgers instead of plastic ones, yeah, forget all that stuff. We're, we're gonna get our destruction on. I'm um, in. So I've started with one spudger, it's holding it open. And use the even more sturdy hook end of the spudger. Oh shit. And to get yet another spudger that's slightly sturdier, I can do a little prying with. Now I'm gonna jam this one in here and just kind of slide down and there we go. Pop. Feels like we are popping this thing loose one little fraction of a of a um, inch at a time. So basically, the next step is to follow this around the edge. Um, get this end. There we go. More pops. So I'm just twisting. What I'm doing is twisting this this white plastic on the inside and just kind of popping it up so that it releases from the teeth on the top of the case. And there's the last one. And are you ready for this? It's very exciting stuff. Oh, pop, pop, pop. These guys around the top just pop right off when the bottom ones are on. See, it's all just plastic snaps. I broke one of them off. Kind of doesn't matter. We're probably gonna throw this out when we're done. Uh, looks like inside, what do we have in here? We have a metal cage that is gonna protect from electromagnetic interference. That's gonna be pried off immediately. And it looks like there's four screws that are holding it down the corner. Let me get a screwdriver. Sing in the unscrewing the thing, spudger thing. Doo, doo, doo. It's the same as Homer Simpson's Shaving My Shoulders song. It's one of my theme songs. Okay, so I'm lifting this guy right out. That's easy. The lights plug in here. I'm gonna lift them out. Um, I don't know that I'm going to use them, but maybe we can use the LEDs for something cool down the road. Let's see, there's just two little, I don't even know what these things are. It looks like they're little tiny embedded LEDs. That's totally weird and random. Okay, hard drive. This is a normal hard drive. It's still got the weird cage around all the electronics. So the next step is to pry all that stuff off. This is one of those places you can get really badly cut if you're not paying attention, because this stuff is all pretty sharp generally. There's a metal seam right here. You can, I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna use pliers on it, because again, this is a piece of hardware that we don't care if it survives or not, so why not throw the dice? Let's see how this goes. Hmm. You know what? I bet that the stickers conceal something. Oh yes, they do. These big rubber feet are holding screws, covering screws that look like they hold the whole assembly together. So let's bust out our screwdriver. These are weird screws. Uh, it looks like they drop down into these slots to hold the hold the drive in place, even with inside the cage. So you know, it's gonna fit in something like this. Kind of an interesting design. I've never seen this before. There's one more over here. Might have to do a little more disassembly to get to it. Uh, and then this guy right here. So I've got three of the four screws holding my drive hostage, or Andy's drive, I guess. Uh, looks like there's a couple of little screws right here. I mean, and the thing is, the thing about this is, 
Uh, there's pretty good guides on the internet for how showing how to take these things apart because they're all different from different manufacturers. I mean, of course, once you've taken the drive out of the cage, you can just go down to Fry's or Amazon or whatever and buy an external drive cage for $25, $30 and uh, just drop this drive back in there assuming there's nothing fundamentally wrong with the drive. Oh, voila, the whole shield just popped off when I unscrewed these four screws uh, along the, or sorry, three screws along the top edge of the of this guy. Okay, so now we are about 90% complete on our destroy the external hard drive mission. Um, I'm having trouble getting this little rubber gasket out. It's, uh, I jammed it in there pretty good. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll take the blame on this one. Uh, frequently in my line of work, I've found that if, if you can't do it gently, just grab some pliers and squeeze and it pops right out. Okay, so unscrewing this little guy. Good God, this is taking forever. You know, I don't even think I have to do that. I think it just lifts out. Oh, I get it. Okay, so now what's happening is that this little board is plugging directly into the SATA ports on the hard drive. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do is actually unscrew the board, get it out of this bottom drive cage. Then the whole thing should just lift out and pop right out. So there's two screws in here. They look like just normal PC screws, nothing fancy. While the other three of these, these side screws were actually holding the, the drive in place, uh, this one wasn't, so it's just resting there. So what I'm gonna do now is lift the whole assembly out. The shield is trash, we can just set that aside. Okay, so next I'm gonna pop the drive controller right off, of the, right off the drive. That's done, this is probably trash. And I have in my left hand a 1.5 terabyte Seagate 7200.11, uh, so it's a 7200 RPM hard drive. Next thing we're gonna do is jam it into this little guy right here. This is just a USB hard drive dock. It's connected to my MacBook Pro. Uh, I believe that this was Andy's time machine uh, backup disc, so we'll see how this works. We're booting it up, firing up right now. I hear it spinning. It's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, and if it all goes well, it should pop up right there underneath Macintosh HD, which I suppose stands for hard drive, not high definition. And there it is. Voila, ladies and gentlemen, right there, backup. This was Andy's time machine backup disc. So uh, he should be able to restore all of his stuff from, you know, whatever happens to the machine in the future. So uh, this was how to free your hard drive from a hard drive dock. For Tested, I'm Will Smith. We will be back later with more awesome stuff. Thanks for watching.